Hey guys, today I am going to be showing you how I do my coffee. I'm also going to give you some details about our ice machine that I've got a lot of questions on. So these are the things that we're gonna be starting with. It's gonna be a real quick video. I'm doing it separate so you guys can always come back and refer to it because I've since I've been featuring coffee a lot in um, the vlogs, I've got a lot of questions on it in general, so I thought I would share with you separately. So first off my cup I have two of these cups these are the Starbucks reusable cups you can buy them at Starbucks but you also can get them customized um, my sister-in-law Melissa made me my Hello Kitty one and she made me this Disney one as well it has my name on it with the mini ears and the castle so cute with the fireworks I love 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 Disney in general so I thought this was an awesome touch and I love Hello Kitty um, so I will link her Etsy shop below they're very reasonably priced she can do pretty much any design if you just message her I will link her Etsy and her Instagram um, on the top of the description box below and also if anything that I can find online I will also list it in the description box so go check there if you're curious about anything but this is the cup that I've been using it is 24 ounces and then the lid that I've been using if you watch the vlogs you have heard my story on this but this is a cold brew sipping lid from Starbucks I've just been washing and reusing them you can get these on Amazon I will link a good dupe from Amazon down below so that is what I've been using you're also going to need whatever kind of syrup you like I've been using the skinny syrup this is the caramel creme uh, cheesecake and I got this I think from TJ Maxx a cold or warm milk frother this is from Amazon I'll link it below it's amazing your um, creamer of choice I've been using the coffee mate pumpkin spice this is sugar free and then we have been doing our own cold brew coffee we recently just got this one it's the Starbucks cold brew coffee concentrate so you actually pour four ounces of this into your cup and then add water to it and mix it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first so that I can get you can also mix this in a jug it gives you the directions here so you could pre mix it if you want but it's pretty much just a one-to-one -one ratio so I'm gonna do four ounces of concentrate and four ounces of water Mine is a little bit more than eight ounces. I added more water than I originally wanted to. So that's what I have so far with the coffee. Now before I go put my ice, I'm gonna put my creamer to start frothing. So this is what this looks like. It just comes on a base. So you plug in the base and then you just set this on top. It turns on, shake up your creamer. And then I have already I already measured this before so that min line that you see right there is a quarter of a cup so that's four tablespoons and this particular creamer um, for four tablespoons is for actually five tablespoons it's two points so I just use the four tablespoons and I pour it right to that min line right there you can see you can pour it up to the max for the cold frother and to this max right here is for warm milk so either you're frothing the milk or you're just steaming it that's um, what you're doing there down here is for the cold frother so then you just put the lid on there are four settings and it comes with instructions so you can see what setting is what but one of them is for uh, warm froth milk uh, lower uh, steam milk and then regular warming I think one's steamed one's hot frothing one's warming and then one's cold frothing I only ever use the cold frothing one and that's the blue for setting and then you can see it just starts to mix everything up in there and it'll beep when it's done so in the meantime while that's going I'm going to go ahead and I got this to show you guys but it ended up being a quarter of a cup so I'm going to add one teaspoon that's all I need of this caramel creme creme cheesecake um, you can also do vanilla almond that one's good as well you could do a pumpkin spice one however you like it whatever kind of sweetener you like in your coffee I do need some sort of sweetener so I'm gonna put one teaspoon of that in So you guys heard it beep while I was pouring the sweetener into my coffee or mixing it. 
Um, I actually like to run it twice because I like it extra frothy. So I just run it again and it just continues to go. You can definitely pour it out after the first time though because it does make it frothy. I just like it extra creamy. So we go again. So now I'm gonna bring my coffee. This is our ice machine. This machine was gifted to us from the company New Air. They're also the same company that sent us the fridge outside. Um, I've got a few things from them and I really, really enjoy the company. They have great customer service and I've had zero issues working with them. So I will link this um, ice maker down below. It is the Nugget Ice Maker and it makes 40 pounds a day. So I'll link it down below for you guys. As you can see, it takes up a good part of the counter, but it's worth it to us. We do have a fridge that has a built-in ice machine, but the ice machine <laughs> doesn't work. It broke a long time ago and we never got it fixed. So um, this was like perfect for us. I've always wanted an ice machine and I just never bit the bullet to get one. And when the company reached out, I was like, heck yes. So you can see, bless you, you can see that um, the ice on this, and there's my frothing um, creamer over there. But the ice on this is what I call sonic ice. It's the best ice ever. The hospital also had ice like this. So it comes with a little scoop. It comes with a tray that you can easily pull out with two hands. It's kind of heavy right now, but you can pull it out. The water goes underneath this tray. So you actually lift this up to add more water. It'll tell you when the ice is full and when you need to add water. Right here, the lights will turn red and the machine will power down um, so yeah it is awesome we use this for mixed drinks when we had um, autumn's party it just was such a great addition to any and everyday use like I said we had mixed drinks I use blended drinks um, I got kid drinks for the kids <laughs> anything you can use ice for it's been great and one thing for me in particular is my coffee I like and prefer cold coffee and of course you can use it like this and we had been buying bags of ice and just keep it in the fridge but the ice blocks up it's big and chunky and it gets like a smell to it after a little while when you've had it in the freezer for too long and so this is just a perfect alternative we turned this on um, this morning and it's already full so it definitely is such such a great investment if you've been looking for an ice machine I know I got a lot of comments from you guys saying that you had been looking for an ice machine and you were wondering where this one was from, especially if you like the nugget ice. You guys, magical. So I fill it up after I put my coffee and mix in with my um, sweetener. I just fill it up to almost, I leave myself about a good inch at the top of the coffee because you want to be able to have room for your um, cold foam at the top. So I'm gonna go pour that in, but yeah, if you've never looked into getting an ice machine, I highly, highly recommend this one. I will definitely link it below for you guys. So now we're gonna go back over here and my frother has gone twice. This is the consistency that you get from it. So all you do is just pour that baby in. And the quarter of a cup with the one inch on top gives you just enough room to put it at the top there. And this cleans up so nicely. It's like whatever this material is, just rinses out very well, no problems. And then one thing I forgot to show you, if you like spice, I've been putting pumpkin pie spice, just drizzling it a little bit on top of the coffee for that added kick. You could use cinnamon, cinnamon's really good as well. But it is so good. And then you just stick on your cold brew lid, which fits perfectly on the reusable cup. And there is the coffee. So taste test. Okay. That's some good coffee. The Starbucks is actually super smooth. It's so good. The reason you need the sipping lid is because you want to get a little bit of the cold foam but you want the coffee to be able to go through it so good so there's the coffee i've been drinking for the last several weeks i hope you guys enjoyed this little video that i put together so that you guys could always reference back to it if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if not i will link everything for you guys i hope you enjoyed